right friends so this is on child labor and in india and we are going to deliberate on the recent amendments made to the child labor prohibition and regulation act of 1986 and at the same time the observations of unicef or you can say objections of unicef right and as per this 1986 child labor prohibition and regulation act children below the age of 14 or permitted in certain occupations as per the 1986 act children below the age of 14 or eligible to work in certain occupations and are not eligible to work in certain occupations and now that anomaly was removed and let us look at the salient features of amendments to child labor prohibition and regulation act of 1986 and as per these amendments children below the age of 14 cannot work or you can say cannot undertake any type of employment that means children below the age of 14 or prohibited from taking any employment with the certain exemptions the exemptions created controversy the exemptions are they can work with family and they can work in family enterprises beyond school hours and at the same time during holidays so beyond at school hours and during holidays children below the age of 14 years can work in family enterprises or with the family that means they can assist their father in agricultural fields after the school hours or during holidays and similarly a child can sit in the kirana shop run by his mother after the school hours so these are the exemptions and at the same time children can also work in audio visual entertainment industry including advertisements films and television serials right so as per the amendments these are the main features and at the same time there is a separate category of adolescents adolescents is from 14 to 18 years of age and they are prohibited in hazardous occupations and processes they can work in all other organizations or occupations except the occupations classified as hazardous and unfortunate aspect is government reduced the number of hazardous occupations to just 3 one is mines second one is inflammable substances and third one is explosions right so these two are the main salient features of uh, amendments to child labor act of 1986 and at the same time age of uh, prohibition of employment is uh, linked to age under right of children to free and compulsory education act of 2009 all of you are familiar with the right to education act as per right to education act education is compulsory till 14 years of age and the amendments to child labor laws is in tune with the right to education act of 2009 that also important point you should not forget if you look at other salient points of this uh, amendments violation of these rules is a cognizable offense attracting jail term up to 2 years and penalty up to rupees 50000 you may ask what is meant by cognizable offense there are two types of offenses a cognizable offense a non cognizable offense cognizable offense means directly police officer can intervene and arrest without the intervention of court so no court warrant or arrest warrant is required to proceed with the case so that is called cognizable offense so this is made cognizable offense attracting jail term up to 2 years and penalty up to rupees 50000 and at the same time a fund was also created known as rehabilitation fund for rehabilitation of the children affected and at the same time it empowered the government to make a periodic inspection of places at which employment of children and adolescents are prohibited and at the same time government may confer powers on district magistrate or you can say district collector to ensure that the provisions of the law are properly carried out and implemented so these are the salient features and predominant view expressed 
in various quarters is government made these changes only to satisfy the conventions of international labor organization international labor organizations is a geneva based organization and there are two important conventions one is a convention 138 as per that were convention 138 compulsory schooling up to the age of 15 is to be ensured but at the same time it gives relaxation up to 14 years where inadequate education facilities are there so in our country right to education act makes it mandatory with regard to education up to the age of 14 so this convention of prohibiting children in employment below the age of 14 is in tune with ILO convention of 138 and at the same time right to education act of compulsory education up to 14 years also supports this at the same time convention 182 of international labor organization prohibits employment of children in the worst forms of labor that's why it classified hazardous occupations and prohibited children or you can say adolescents in the age group of 14 to 18 in adolescent occupations so the two conventions of 138 and 182 of international labor organization or ilo are satisfied and there are views and counter views the view of the government is we have to strike a balance between education and india's economic reality the main contentious issues of these amendments are two issues one is allowing children to work with the family or with the family enterprises may prone to misuse and it will affect the schooling because after coming from school if the student is engaged in some occupation then his quality of learning will be affected that is the first point second point is for adolescents that is between 14 to 18 age group though they are prohibited in hazardous occupations but the number of hazardous occupation have been reduced to 3 so these are two points and the government's view point on these two aspects is we have to strike a balance between education and india's economic reality and government says in view of socio economic conditions in india allowing to work with the family enterprises is essential and at the same time it is necessary to fight the poverty and to support the families and skilling at early age as they are attached with the family enterprises is also another beneficial aspect in the words of the government but the counter view especially objected by unicef unicef is united nations children's fund and in its view point the family enterprises term is to be removed because family enterprises may prone to misuse that means children below the age group of 14 most likely may end up in some enterprise and it is very difficult to distinguish between family enterprise and enterprise run by some other person so it is very difficult to implement that's why unicef is of the view that family enterprises is to be removed and the second important point is unicef wants the list of hazardous occupations should be made exhaustive there are only three occupations they are not sufficient the list should include some more occupations also and the most important aspect as cited by unicef is quality of education will be affected because of these laws so these are the views of government and these are the counter view by unicef right so here the biggest problem is with the family enterprises and reducing the occupations categorized as hazardous right friends with this let us conclude fourth capsule please do join for other capsules have a nice day thank you